bubble wrap. Whoops. Cool. Villain. That's a hefty metal card. Mm. Wow. That strap is amazing. Look at this. Look at this bracelet, Josh. That's really nice. Is it? Look at that dial. Designer note subject 83. Willem aims to create unique contemporary and masculine timepieces that combine the best materials available and being used in the luxury ward market today and price it to the working class watch enthusiast who doesn't want to part with a small fortune in order to own such a luxury timepiece. I believe every word of this statement and here are the reasons why the prism, when shed light on it, projects a spectrum of beautiful design details you will enjoy. Like, comment and subscribe for content you'd like to see next. Follow us at Instagram at Design Atelier Aruba for behind the scenes content. Email us at Design Atelier Viewer at gmail.com. This video is sponsored by Willem Watches. We have a surprisingly small 40mm case diameter and just 45mm from lug tip to lug tip. This is the first visual wizardry that we're going to put attention to. This is all because of the ingeniously designed elements of the watch. That measurement of 40mm is in fact coming at its farthest point without the crown. However, if you actually measure what your eyes will identify as the diameter of the watch, which is the bezel and lugs, it's actually just 38mm. Because of these two main elements are so imposing, your eyes are fooled to think that these are the things that make up the watch. This same visual philosophy is applied to the thickness as well, measuring at just 12mm. The lug width is 22mm with the bracelet integrating nicely with the whole case, while leaving options for any 22mm straps that's available. If it weren't obvious yet by now, the prism's strongest point is its design language. For someone who has a design channel like this, it's like being a kid again, left to its own devices in a candy store surrounded by video games, Lego, and thousands of dollars in his pocket. The use of angles in this watch is very well thought out and used where it's needed. The lugs have these aggressive wedges on the side that also matches the case. This mirrors that of what the Octo Finissimo from Bulgari was able to accomplish. But where the Finissimo looks visually wide because of its straight case profile, the prism breaks this with the use of another wedge cut. It's easy to dismiss that this wedge cut is only made for symmetry's sake, but it also creates a void or space for your eye. With this void, your eyes are instantly drawn to the next shape it aligns to, the bezel. This bezel, having a round top surface, reminds you of the conventional watch, but also helps in the illusion of a smaller profile. Couple that with the light play of the brushed metal surface, and your attention is fixed firmly on that bezel. There are also some straight channels from each side of the bezel. This provides visual interest that reminds us of either manly scars of a Spartan's face or robotic paneling from Iron Man's armor. The bracelet also reflects this design language with its angular facets and deep isolated channels. 
These trapezoid shapes are everywhere, from the case to the bracelet and down to the dial. This dial first seems overwhelming with a number of details that a G-Shock would be jealous about. But all of it helps play with the light in the most interesting of ways. The inner dial uses a fine radial finish, while on the outside, it uses a groove texture. This contrasting reflection of light livens up the dial as the outer texture projects strands of light across the rim of the dial, while the inner dial twirls the shimmer of light around. The monolithic hour markers stand high over the dial giving it a three-dimensional presence. It's angular in shape with polished surfaces that slices across the dial rims converging at the center. This hour marker design is broken up by the quarter markers that is just a third of its length but framed over a larger groove dial surface. It's a clever design choice that preserves the symmetry even when the date window is added at the 6 o'clock position. The outer chapter ring rises above all the indexes with channels that houses these hour markers. This indenting technique creates a thick perception to the ring while not giving up space for the hour markers. As an added bonus, the minute markers are painted red, a very sporty design choice. The rim may have a number of design flourishes but the rest of the dial is clean and reserved. The Willem emblem is applied and it is sized nicely with the branding underneath. At 6, we see the prism line. These texts are proportioned decently. The hands are partially skeletonized with a slight taper from the center to the tip. This pairs well with the trapezoid theme. I would have preferred solid hands, but that is not insufferable. The dial has limited loom, which is also acceptable for a sporty luxury dress watch. The best subtle detail with this dial design is how everything aligns with everything else. The groove aligns with the hour markers, while these also align with the hour hand. The minute hand align with the chapter ring while the quarter markers and second hand angle aligns with the groove. This dial is very meticulously designed. This thoughtfulness carries over to the case as we see the 49 facets of this case, yes, that's 49 different sides, work together to manipulate light all over the surface. This begins with the large surfaces such as the bezel and lug facets. These facets push light to the bracelet as you roll your wrist. There are matte finishes that subdue the light rather than reflect them. They are primarily there to provide shape and visual interest but takes a step back from the light play. These long sides give the impression of robustness and mass but this is far from how it actually wears. The lugs for example actually ride the wrist very well with its deep inner contours. This also helps the flat octagonal case back that resembles an arc reactor of a certain billionaire playboy philanthropist. We're treated here to some angular engravings instead of ratings and markings. Even the sapphire crystal display is angular, fully custom. This is not your typical display case back. Rounding out the case is the equally angular crown that's signed by the Willem logo. Microbrand bracelets are a dime a dozen, with mass production getting better and cheaper as the day passes. The prism, however, is custom designed for this specific watch. This is not your off-the-shelf bracelet. The angular lugs uses the same elements that are found on the case. It has a satin finish on the bracelet that slides light across the surface. These shiny surfaces are interrupted by deep matte finish trapezoid grooves. These have been popularized now by Iron Man's articulating armor. The links are remarkably narrow enough to conform even to the smallest of wrists like mine. The butterfly class is well built but has a thin profile. It snaps shut into place and very secure. You do need to keep in mind to shut the shorter part of it first before closing the part with the branded panel. The package comes with an extra rubber strap that's also custom designed to match the watch. 
There are perforations that provide style and comfort for the wearer. These are also very soft and easy to use. One of the ring keepers even have small wedges to lock them into place. The buckle is also made of titanium. Let me rephrase that. The whole watch and bracelet are made of grade 2 titanium. This watch may look like a ton but only weighs far less than your typical sports watch. Nob Srinara, founder of Willem, is a true watch collector at heart. He owns numerous high-end luxury watches including an open-worked AP Royal Oak. He appreciates how design and materials play a key role in delivering true luxury. The Prism did not skim on the material side as he opted to use full-grade 2 titanium on every part of the watch when many micro brands use them only on the case. He used sapphire crystal on both sides of the watch rather than just the dial side. The tolerances on the movable parts are also very tight, further emphasizing the high quality feel. The premium feel of the watch is very obvious. The milling on the bracelet and case is crisp and is a level above other micro brands. Compared to a similar watch of having half a price, the refinement is in its dimensions. Both are full titanium but the prism is considerably thinner. Of course, the swordfish is a full 2 mm bigger but the comparison is about the level of refinement. Put this beside a well-known high volume brand such as Seiko, the refinement is also pretty distinguishable. Both do have a hefty presence but the premium quality titanium just feels infinitely lighter than steel. Let's now make a more fair comparison with another 40mm watch. The Submariner has been the quintessential sports watch and is seen on the reserve aesthetics beside the prism. But both wear rather similar with the dimensions and form on the wrist. As much as both look incredibly contrasting in style, it's undeniable that the prism has luxury in its DNA. Down to the movement used, Willem did not settle with the now standard Seiko NH35 movement. Not that it's bad, it's actually a good movement, we've proven that countless of times. But the prism uses a Celita SW200, that's a true Swiss caliber movement. This same movement is the base for the Oris 733 that has been in many lower-end Oris Aquas. This can be felt in the smoothness of the winding action, on the crisp change when the date wheel turns, and the sweeping seconds hand. The new skeleton model will use the Swiss STP6-15 skeleton movement in line with the luxury principle of the brand. Pricing is still a tad under the $1,000 mark which is accessible to many collectors and enthusiasts. There are three color variants to choose from with the fourth being the skeletonized model. The prism sheds light on the current micro brand scene where many brands compete for the same price segment which is under $500. While most would dabble in this area, Willem shows that it can rise up above this point and offer premium luxury materials and styling with just a tear over the price. But what designers would really appreciate in this piece is the way it plays with light that the prison namesake just becomes appropriate. If you're looking for a timepiece that's a level above your typical micro brand offering that also manages to bring together a spectrum of design elements in a singular enlightening product, then the prism is not just a surprise to you, but should be a very strong consideration.